Today's math lesson will focus on different types of word problems where we have an unknown addend. Let's first start off with a quick review on our subtraction skills. Earlier in the year, we practiced subtracting into the hundreds. So let's do a quick review. Now, just like when we add, when we subtract, we always start on the side in the ones place. This is because sometimes we need to ungroup and go to our neighbor if we don't have enough. And if we start in the hundreds, we are going to have to erase a lot of our work to keep going. So let's start in the ones place. I have one minus seven. Hmm. If I have one, can I take seven away? No, I can't do that. So I'm going to go next door to my neighbor, Mr. Tens, and he's going to give me one of his tens. So now, instead of having one one, I now have 11 ones because one and 10 more is 11. Now I can subtract 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. I have four left. Okay, the ones are good to go. Let's go to the tens place. Five, take four away. Five minus four. Five minus four gives me one. I don't have to go to my neighbor for that one because I have enough. And in the hundreds place, I have two minus one, which gives me one. 114. Let's try one more practice before we get into our word problems today. 619 minus 345. Now, just like last time, I'm going to start in the ones place over on the right. I have nine minus five. Hmm, nine is bigger than five, so I should be able to do it. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. I do not need to go to my neighbor and ungroup. Now, in the tens place, I have one minus four. If I have one, can I take four away? No, I can't. So I'm going to go next door to the hundreds, and now I will have 11 tens. I used to have one, but I got 10 more from that hundred. So now I have 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. Oh, that one works out well. And then in the hundreds, I have 5, 4, 3, 2. Two hundreds left. 274. We're going to be using subtraction today to find our missing addends. Let's start with the first problem. Evans City Elementary has 728 children. 163 children walk to school. The rest take the bus. How many children take the bus? Let's think about the information that we know in this problem. The first thing that we know is we know our total number of children. In the entire school, we have 728. Now, if I take that number and put it on a math mountain, since it is the total number of children, I'm going to put it up at the top. My total, or my sum, always goes at the top of my math mountain. Another number that I know is 168. There are two groups in our school. One group of children who walk to school, and it says the rest take the bus. So these two groups will go down here at the bottom. Let's put our 163 on one side of our math mountain. And then we are looking to find the other side of the math mountain. We don't know how many children take the bus. So looking at my math mountain, I see that I have my big number at the top, my sum or my total, and I have one of my numbers at the bottom. So I need to decide, should I add these two numbers up or should I subtract them? Now looking at the two numbers, I cannot get a number bigger than 728 because that would be bigger than the total number of students at the school. 
and that just wouldn't make sense in our problem. So I think I'm going to have to subtract to find my missing add end. Let's subtract 728 minus 163. Just like in our review, we'll start over on the right in our ones place. 8, 7, 6, 5. Now in the middle I have 2 minus 6. If I have 2, can I subtract 6 from that? No, I can't. So I'm going to have to go over to the hundreds, and the hundreds is going to give me 10 tens. So now instead of 2 tens, I have 12 tens. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Oh, that's a double. I should have known that right away. 6 plus 6 gives me 12. And last in the hundreds place, 6, take 1 away, gives me 5. So I have 565 children that take the bus. Here's another example. Miss Debussy has 885 books in her library. There are 597 fiction books, and the rest are nonfiction. How many books are nonfiction? I'm noticing something similar to the last problem. I'm noticing that there are two groups of things. There's fiction books and nonfiction books. Now, when I hear two things like that, I often think of a math mountain. Maybe on this side I put my fiction books, and this side I put my nonfiction books. Now, do you see anywhere where it tells me my total that I could put at the top of the math mountain? I see it. It says that Miss Debussy has 885 books. That's all of the books, so that's our total or our sum. That 885 is going to go up top because it's our total. Now let's add the other numbers. I have 597 fiction books, so let's put it over on the fiction side. And the rest are nonfiction, so I don't know how many that is yet. Just like in the last problem, I need to make a decision. I need to decide if I need to add these two numbers up together or if I should subtract them. Also, like last time, I'm noticing that I already know my total. And if my total is 885 books, then my number of nonfiction books cannot be bigger than my total. So I'm going to subtract. Let's take 885 minus 597. Here we go. Starting in the ones place, I have 5 minus 7. Can I have 5 and take 7 away? No, I can't. So I'm going to go next door to my tens. And all of our numbers, like we've talked about in class, they all love to share with each other. They're so kind. They share with each other all the time. So now, instead of 5 ones, I have 15 ones. Let's subtract. 15. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Okay, that one's good to go. Let's bump to our tens place. 7 minus 9. Hmm. I have 7 and I need to take 9 away. Am I able to do that? No, because 9 is bigger than 7. So I need to ungroup again. So I go to my hundreds. That becomes seven hundreds. And now, instead of seven tens, I have 17 tens. Let's subtract. 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Oh, another 8. And last, I have 7 minus 5. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. So I have 288 nonfiction books. Now, when we're doing a subtraction problem like this, don't forget that it's always okay to start at the bottom number and count up to the top number. If you're more comfortable with adding compared to subtracting, 
you can always do that. You can use your counting up strategy to help you. Some of you might even have a lot of these facts memorized in your head from practicing our fact fluency all year. Let's try one more example. The last example. On Saturday, 604 people went to Edco Park to swim. Some people went in the morning. 356 people went in the afternoon. How many people went in the morning? Okay, let's see what we have. I'm going to make another math mountain. Now it says that there were 604 people that went throughout the whole day. So that sounds to me like that's our big total number of people. So let's put our total or our sum up at the top. Now they talked about two groups of people. They talked about people that went in the morning. So I'll put AM for morning and in the afternoon. Let's put PM for afternoon. Now there was another number, 356. It said 356 people went in the afternoon. So let's put that over on the PM side. And as you can see, my missing number is in the morning. I don't know how many went. Now looking here, I have my total number of people. So I can't get a number bigger than that. So I know I'm not going to add, I'm going to have to subtract. 604 minus 356. Let's go ahead and subtract. We start in our ones place. Four minus six. Hmm, I don't think that I can do that because four is smaller than six. But when I go next door to my tens, to ungroup, I don't have any tens to give to my ones. So where do you think we should start in this problem? We are going to need to start in the hundreds. The hundreds are going to be so kind to the tens. Now I'm gonna take one of my hundreds away and give my tens 10 tens. Now I can take one of my tens away to give it to my ones. Now everyone in my problem is happy and we can start to subtract. Let's start with 14 minus 6. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. There we go. In the middle on the tens we have 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four. And last, we have five, four, three, two. So 248 people went in the morning. We can even add that over here to our math mountain.